Good morning, Marcus Whitman. Today is Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. It is a D-Day. I'm Maddie McKeel. And I'm Amelia Rasmussen, and here are your morning announcements. Let's start with a look at the weather with Earth Network's online weather center. Today will be partly sunny with highs in the upper 60s, and tomorrow it will be partly sunny with a chance of showers. Highs in the mid-70s, chance of rain is 30%. Here are this week's birthdays. Tomorrow, Thursday, May 26th, William Rutherford. On Friday, May 27th, Natalie Cunningham and Olivia Lawrence. On Saturday, May 28th, Tiffany Kelly. And on Monday, May 30th, Alyssa Daly. Happy birthday. Don't forget, you can still sign up for driver education this summer. Registration has begun. The forms are outside room 511, Mr. Brzezinowski's room, and the cost of the course is $75. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Brzezinowski. Safe Harbors of the Finger Lakes is a nonprofit organization that serves people affected by abuse. They also provide prevention services oriented towards the youth of Ontario, Yates, and Seneca County. They would like to invite any students interested in learning leadership skills pertaining to healthy relationships, internet safety, and mindfulness. The targeted audience for this workshop is students entering 8th through 11th grade in fall 2022, and they will be here during the lunch periods today. Hey, Marcus Whitman, don't forget we still have yearbooks left. The cost of the book is $48. You can drop off a check or cash to Mr. G in room 310 to get yours. Don't delay. Here are this week's club meetings. Today, PRISM and Art Club. Attention seniors who are interested in becoming teachers as a career. Please see Mr. Sullivan for information on the $12,000 Marcus Whitman Teachers Association Scholarship. On Monday, the modified baseball team defeated Red Jacket with a score of 15-8. to 8. 8th grader Parker Wyson picked up the win for the Wildcats, pitching four innings, allowing three runs on two hits and striking out four. At the dish, Parker went for three for three with two RBI, a run scored and two stolen bases. Fellow 8th grader Aiden Marin went two to three with a double and a triple, scoring four times and stealing one base. Ninth grader Caleb Bray and 7th grader Logan Hill each collected two hits of their own. Ninth grader Damian Guadalupe pitched a scoreless last inning, striking out, striking out one. Great win, boys. Love baseball. <laughs> Student Council will have a brief meeting Thursday after, after school in room 515. Hope to see you there. Now here's a look at the remainder of this week's events. This has been Maddie McKeel and Amelia Rasmussen with your WCAT News Announcements. Have a great day and be kind to someone. Bye-bye.